Uh, yesterday we talked about this and you said you didn't mind all that much, but now that you see everyone's you know, opponent here and it's a press conference at MSG, is it a bit of a bummer not to be next to Vanderlei? It annoys me because I feel like Vanderlei got his way. I mean, do you understand, Errol? You and everybody else waited in the weather. You came to the press conference. Vanderlei, it looks like he found a bathroom as a backdrop in the men's shelter he's living at in Rio and got somebody to point a cell phone at his face. I find it a little bit weird. You act like you just asked him a question. You just talked to Pexi Glass with a little bit of technology in it, and then he gave you an answer. Do you understand we're beaming him in via satellite, Ariel? We could have used that satellite technology to point it somewhere in the world, depict and predict weather patterns patterns and, and protect people's lives. Instead, we've got Vandalay Silva coming to us from a men's shelter bathroom in Brazil. Yeah, man, I find it a little bit weird. I think he's getting it translated. Is there anything you want to say in response to that, Vandalay? No. Just him just talking all the time, just talking, talking, talking in the fights. I hope you're training more than you're talking because you'll be like you're, like you'll be in the last fight, man. I'm gonna beat you so fast. You killed my mic. Let's just talk about that for the second. First off, I made Tito Ortiz scream tap in less than 60 seconds. And while I suspect that you're gonna be tougher than him, I still get you out of there inside of the first round. And before I get accused of, uh, uh, accused of hogging the mic, Vandalay, every time you talk, all I hear is garble, garble, garble. And I want to remind you, when you address me in public, you will do it proper. It's garble, 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 Mr. Sonnen. Thank you. Okay. Respect, it's respectful. Mi say it with me, Vandalay. Mr. Sonnen. Please, pl respectfully, please. Try it one time. No, no. Suck my Mid, balls. Miss, no. <laughs> that, that is not what I said. Mid, try to get Mr. Sonnen. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sonnen, um, you lost the January fight because you had uh, three, about a three-year break. Do you think Wanderley will have the same... I guess, situation when he goes against you? Uh, it was a problem for me. You know, they talk about ring rust. I didn't think it was a real thing. I could tell you for me it was a real thing. And I, I imagine that he will stumble a little bit, yeah. I mean, if I, if I was to give him some friendly advice, a lot of it's just the speed, like in sparring. It's just a little bit of a different speed. But I've been around Vandalay. I did the Ultimate Fighter with Vandalay. I watched him train hard every single day. Uh, so I can only speak for myself, but I, I can tell you for me it was real. Can you understand me if I speak Portuguese? Or is there someone translating? I can speak? Eu queria saber que a última luta que você lutou, você já está passando três meses, três anos, uma coisa, uma coisa assim. Até que você vai lutar agora. Uh -huh. Você acha que você está preparado para essa luta? Ou você está nervoso que você vai entrar na luta com a Sona? Não, this is, this is going to be one, for one of the biggest fights. In the MMA history, these are these are reasons can I step to fight on that event because we're gonna be one of the biggest events in the whole history. This is gonna be great, and I'm ready to be to make one of the best fights in my career. More question for Mr. Sonam. Um, you are one of the biggest talkers out there. You get into people's minds, heads. Has it ever worked backwards in the sense? all the talking actually made you feel some type of fear? Yeah, it, it may be. I mean, I, I, I don't give a damn either way. It's an ass-whipping contest for 15 minutes of my life or until he gives up. So, yeah, I think there's some truth to that. But these are press conferences. You've got to bring some attention. Listen, I told the press three weeks ago, the next time I see Vandalay Silva, I'm going to be fighting Vandalay Silva. And he stayed home in Brazil, and that's just the reality. And the last time I saw Vandalay Silva, I fought Vandalay Silva on the streets of Brazil. So, yes, my words matter. My words care. We are back on pay-per-view, and Daddy is the king of pay-per-view. You. I'm not coming into the men's bathroom at the homeless shelter, Vandalay. You can call me out all you want. I told you I'd be in New York, and I will be in New York on June 24th, one place you are not. Mr. Sonnen. Pictures with the face-off? Is that? Yes, after the press conference is finished. So, Sonnen, how do you feel doing that with the screen? Are you going to? 
So here's what's going down, guys. Okay, I'm not sure this is completely on everybody's radar. First off, the biggest star in the history of the business is coming to New York. And why this is a big deal when you got a city decorated with concrete is beyond me. I don't come to buildings this old in Westland. you got a building as old as MSG in my hometown. We'll tear it down. But this is a big deal for you guys. And why everybody else is happy to New York, New York is happy to have me. And let me tell you what's going on on this stage. First off, we don't do co-promotes in this business, which is a problem with mixed martial arts. But amongst the boys... We all know who the best is, and we all will tell you Michael Chandler is the baddest lightweight out there. However, the right man for the job has been called. I can tell you Brett Primus is ready to go. Meanwhile, we got title fights with Larkin. We got Lamas on the card, and Fedor Emelianenko in his crowning moment is going to jerk the curtain before the bad guy himself walks. Could you imagine being Fedor Emelianenko, getting that call and told, you're coming to MSG. You're going to pull the curtain back for Chael Sonnen to make the walk. And while Vandalay hides out in the bathroom in Rio, when all is said and done, I will promise you this, it's going to be one more in the win column, one more for the highlight reel, and one more for the bad guy. Wanderly, for your training, everything that you're doing over there, how is that going to affect you here oh, in the U.S.? Excuse me, Mr. Sun, excuse me. Could you imagine... The excitement that Fedor must have right now. Could you imagine how bad he wants to reach out and touch the largest arm in Westland, Oregon that is sitting right next to him? Instead, people keep going to Vandalay Silva. You want to hear of Vandalay Silva? You want to know how you could get as much tantalizing conversation from something as Vandalay Silva? Just talk to my shoe. Just ask the shoe. What's it going to be like, shoe? What's it going to be like to walk into Madison Square Garden in front of a sold-out arena with the biggest box office in history because Bellator called the king? And you know what Vandalay's going to say? Oh, garble, garble, garble. It's garble, 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 Mr. Sonnen. Do you see the genius at work? Do you see how I did that? Do you see what just, see, that's not really Vandalay. That's my boot, young lady. Do you see why I'm a genius? And meanwhile, Fedor's up here going, oh, my God, he's here. That's the guy I read about. That's Chael Sonnen you imagine he's feeling the same thing you're feeling chills going up and down your spine face to face with greatness at this old building decorated with concrete known as msg <laughs> this is where you <laughs> i was waiting for him to respond to the question but i think he forgot it after the boot so mr Mondale, the question is you're so far away. You're not training in the U.S. The hours are different. The time is different. The jet lag is a whole other level. Why would you prepare in a different country when your fight is in New York City? Well, here I have a lot of good material, warm materials, and I feel great. And I think I'm going to be on my best time. I just have one more for Vanderlei, if I can. Sure. Uh, for Vanderlei, I know this is, I think, off the top of my head, uh, your 50th professional fight, at least that we know of. Have you ever felt this way about an opponent? Have you ever felt this kind of animosity towards someone that you were about to fight? No. Uh, anytime somebody asks me to fight, I'm fighting. For me, no, no matter against who. But when, I, when we fight against somebody like uh, my next opponent, it's better because, man, I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be so happy after I beat him. Um, Mr. Sonan, how does it feel that you, even if you passed or not the exam, the drug test, you actually took it and your opponent didn't? What does that say to you for your opponent? Sounds like an advantage for old Chael P. One more for the bad guy, and I did take it. And, you know, you're not really telling the whole story. Everybody wants to talk about the things that they found in my system, but nobody gives any credence to all of the things that they missed. So I, I kind of feel like that's a pessimistic approach. Kim Stumbler will do her job, and when she calls me, I will have 24 hours to report. I will report every time. Those are the rules. Get his photo op. We welcome to the stage the American Gangster. Again, in our second main event of the evening, Chael Sonnen.
And now we'll welcome the rest of the fighters along with Mr. Scott Coker. Chael can stay on the stage, please. All fighters, if you would please return to the stage. Final photo op. The fighters on the main card. A double main event, a welterweight title fight, and a lightweight title fight. Four of the announced five fights on Bellator MMA, New York City Live on pay-per-view. June 24th, 10 p.m. Eastern time will be your start time. Bellator 180, the two hours preceding the live on pay-per-view events. Tickets go on sale March 31st, a special pre